The fifth days of the ten days trial of Black China vs. Kardashian. Friday trial is Chris Jenner and E, former co-president of Bunim Murray, who was on the stand testifying. Chris Jenner took the stand for the second day in the $100 million defamation trial brought on by Black China. Jenner says there was nothing to cancel because the show was never renewed. They had an option that they didn't exercise, Jenner said on the stand, explaining to the jury that as her son's manager, she would have been privy to any notice coming from the network informing him, as talent, that the series had been greenlit for season two. He never got a letter, she said. There was nothing to cancel. She also addressed a letter that Rob allegedly wrote asking her not to cancel season two of his show. I don't believe those are Rob's words. I think someone wrote it for him, she said, adding that the show simply wasn't picked up for a second season. Jeff Jenkins, former co-president of Bunim Murray and executive producer of 2016 reality series Rob and China, testified in court Friday that the couple never secured a second season for the series. During his testimony, Jenkins claimed that networks including BET, VH1, Lifetime and MTV were uninterested in picking up a show featuring Black China alone, and that he wouldn't back a second season due to the pair's volatility. I would not pick up this show, he admitted via Zoom from his home in San Pedro, Calif. There was no more Rob and China. Jenkins said he greenlit their first season after a meeting with the couple where China came off as witty, and Rob Kardashian appeared to be very happy in his relationship. That was really exciting, Jenkins said. That was the first and the last time I saw the couple happy. By the time the show began filming, the pair were at odds. She was furious with him, and he was furious with her. It was very negative. It was very difficult to shoot a show Rob and China in love when they were not even talking to each other. Even after gently encouraging the couple to seek both couple and individual therapy, it proved too difficult to film them together, as they couldn't even be in the same room and were disgusted with one another. Jenkins also recalled a meeting at Chris Jenner's home shortly after Rob and China's December 2016 fight, where some voiced their concerns over the incident. China was not at said meeting, Jenkins testified. The producer's testimony rebuttals China's claim that the Kardashians used their influence to kill the show, which the family has previously denied. Following testimony from Jenkins and Kris Jenner Friday, proceedings ended two and a half hours early after China's attorney, Lin Chorney, told the judge in his chambers that she wasn't feeling well. The hearing will resume on Monday.